Hey, hey, my name is Emilio. We are here on LastPass. We've got a LastPass account, which of course is a password manager, uh, my favorite password manager. If you wanna learn how to set up LastPass, do click on that uh, thing right up there and you can actually watch a full video on how to actually set up LastPass. Uh, you can also pick up LastPass uh, from my description. I've got a link right there to go and get it. So we're assuming you've got LastPass set up. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be transferring uh, the data from KeePass into LastPass. We're gonna do that right now. So if you're watching this, you've got KeePass. KeePass is a really good password manager that you normally have loaded on your computer. All right, you can do this on a Windows or even on a Mac computer. And essentially it's just a password file where all of your passwords are located. And we're gonna to want to import that right into our LastPass account. So we are doing this through the web browser. So we're logged into our LastPass account. There are other ways to do this by downloading the actual extension through the browser, but we're doing it here directly from the browser. So right in here, we've got all of our stuff, right? We've got all of our passwords, our notes, our addresses, everything that you have already you know, perhaps already you've created within LastPass, or perhaps your LastPass is currently now empty and you wanna import everything from KeePass. So what we wanna do is when you go down to the bottom left-hand corner, you've got a little area here with some options, right? Some further options. You wanna select this more options down here. You've got a few different options that are on top of what you normally would get. And then you select advanced right here. And now we wanna click on import right from there. So we'll see it does say here that the first thing you need to do is you need to actually export your KeePass database. So that's the KeePass database and this is how we do it. File export to XML file. We'll do that right now. So here we got KeePass. We've obviously got all of our passwords listed in here. All right, there's all relative uh, folders and all of the passwords and the entries listed. Now what we need to do is we need to go into file, we then select export. Then we want to select KeePass XML, right? This one right here. And then select the path where you want this to be saved. So now here on our import screen, we select a source. Now you'll see that right here, there's a whole list of options, which is excellent. So even if you're not using KeePass, you're using something different, uh, then you can select that option. But of course, in our case, we're gonna select KeePass. We now need to select that file, choose file, and then we navigate to that file that we've just exported, which is KeePass export.xml. Okay, so you export it from KeePass in an XML format. You then import it into here, select it, and then we select upload. So we found the following items which you can import. Uh, and this is great because it's actually found every single thing inside that XML file. You can select the items that you want to import or you can select all of them. And I always find it helpful to make sure that remove duplicate items is ticked just in case you do have items in there that you've doubled up in different folders, for example, within KeePass. If you're happy with all of that, we then say import all. So if everything has worked, everything should now be imported. Now what it will do is by default, it'll add everything into a passwords list and then you'll have all your entries in there. So you can literally just go into one of your entries and see that detail. Now what you may find is that the entries may not have gone in correctly 100% and that is because sometimes in KeePass it sort of renders it slightly differently. So for example, if I go into one of these entries right here and I select edit, you'll see that it hasn't actually put it in the normal format for a username and password where the password is encrypted and, and you can't see it, etc., It's put it more as a secure note. This may be a little bit annoying. It just may mean you have to go back and update some of those secure notes to the password format. Uh, otherwise, they're gonna remain in this particular form. But that may be completely fine for you. There you go, you've got all the entries right here added from KeePass into LastPass. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for spending the time. And as I said, remember to look in the description if you do want to go and set up LastPass for yourself. Awesome, awesome product. And as always, if you did find this helpful, please like and comment below and clicking on that subscription button on the notification as well right there so that you can keep up to date with everything that I've got going on. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.